In my 20s, I made a million dollars producing songs without a manager, without leasing beats, no fancy gear, just an apartment studio like many of you have right now. I'm going to tell you exactly how I did it and how I got there, but more importantly, I'll share the two superpowers I had that really made all of this possible. And maybe you have those superpowers already, but if not, you're probably going to want to get them. So stick around to find out what those are. So when I was 24 years old, I moved 3000 miles away to LA with a dream of becoming a full-time music producer in the industry. And nowadays you don't necessarily need to move anywhere in order to make a living producing. But what I came to realize later is that I dove headfirst into a just perfect storm of events that would finally lead me to going full-time in the music industry and making an above average income doing it. Now for the six years leading up to that, I had been trying really hard to go full time and just couldn't make it work. Like I would go back and forth from taking the leap to then running out of money and getting another job back and forth probably a dozen times. But during this period is when I developed my first superpower, which I'll talk about here soon. Back in LA, I actually found it pretty easy to get interviews at the big studios, but during my first one, I got just smacked with a massive reality check. And for the first time, I felt like I made a huge mistake. I had spent so much time learning how to, you know, record instruments and do the traditional studio engineering stuff. But when I sat down with that studio manager and told her that I wanted to be a producer, she's like, well, no, Dan, like if you want to be a producer in this market, then you need to go get really good at putting tracks together and writing songs and studying the pop charts and all this other stuff that I had like way less experience with. So now I'm like, shit, all right, I need to start doing more of that. So back then there was this website called Craigslist and I used to use it for a lot of things I would never tell my mom about, but I would also use it to post ads for my home studio and would have songwriters come over to, you know, record vocals and write and stuff like that. I think I was only charging like $15 an hour or something. And I was running out of savings at this time. But then I met a producer who really changed my career path. There was this guy named Drew up in the valley who had a really nice home studio. And he was also advertising on Craigslist. So I hit him up and started working sessions for him when he would get really busy. And Drew was the first producer I had ever seen who did everything like the artist would just lay down a vocal and leave and then he would do the instruments and arrange it and edit and mix it and churn out these really really sick songs and i realized that's super common now but back in like 2012 i had just never been exposed to that so i started doing the same thing in my little studio apartment and after like 60 days of being in la just a couple of months a light bulb went off in my head the big idea that would lead me to making a million dollars producing songs, although I had no clue at the time that it would. If you remember earlier, I mentioned that I spent six years working other jobs while I was trying to go full time in music. And one of those jobs was a real estate marketing company. And I had to sell services over the phone to real estate agents. And then we would fulfill those services remotely. And that's when it all like really clicked for me. Like, if there are artists in Hollywood that make songs this way, but they don't really need to be there 90% of the time, then there are probably artists like that everywhere. And I can do this for anyone anywhere around the world. So I started a company called SXTM. That stood for the songwriting team. It's not a super creative name, but it worked out all right. And we were basically either the first or at least one of the first fully remote music production teams on the internet. And this was way before like working with artists remotely was super common. And basically how our business worked is artists, brands, sometimes labels would be seeking out producers and songwriters on the internet via search engines or forums or social media platforms and hire us to produce records and would pay us for our time and production fees. Now keep in mind, this wasn't leasing beats or selling beats, although people were doing that at the time. Over the years, the clients got bigger and better. 
I had a team of really, really talented producers and songwriters. And at any given time, we were working on between 20 to 30 songs. So like hundreds of songs per year for clients all over the world. And that generates multiple six figures of income every year. And if you do that for a handful of years, then it ends up hitting a million dollars of income. There's another video on this channel where I break down some of our bank statements and business models. So I'll link to that video at the end of this one. But don't jump off yet because I wanna let you in on the two superpowers that helped me get here so that you can actually learn something from this video. The first superpower I had was the ability to extend my time horizon and play the long game. And I guess that could just be chalked up to patience, but I look at it more as a way of doing business. I had to get the experience and figure out what was gonna work for me. And this is why trying to completely replicate someone else's path to success rarely works. In my current job advising producers, I get to talk to hundreds of them every year, which is awesome. But one of the biggest issues that I see is most of them want things way too fast and they aren't developed enough to even get those things. Like the experience and the journey is what allowed me to connect the dots. So even if I could give it to somebody, even if I could give them instant success, I probably wouldn't do it, right? Like I went full time as a producer when I was 24 and it only took me technically 90 days to move to LA, start my business and go full time. However, what you're not seeing is the 10 years of massive development I did before that. And that's what can be so dangerous about these types of YouTube videos. The whole, I went full time at this age or making this much money at this age. And understand why these videos are enticing and create curiosity. Obviously you're here watching, but use them as inspiration and not a measuring stick. From like 14 to 24 years old, the 10 years leading up to me going full time, there was so much that happened that had to happen in order for me to get there. I took my first recording client at like 14 years old in my little home studio. So I had 10 years working with artists before I ever went full time. I played in bands and got experience writing and releasing music, learning how to play a bunch of different instruments. I apprenticed under a producer for a few years, clocked in hundreds of hours at a commercial studio, learning the technical side and working on real projects. And I spent six years doing various sales jobs, marketing jobs, customer support to develop my business acumen. And you don't need to copy any of that stuff specifically, but it's just to put things in perspective. I didn't really care how fast I got things. I just wanted to set myself up to have the best chance of getting it at some point. And this doesn't mean I moved slowly, but I just gave myself the time that I needed. As simple as that. And the second superpower that I had that goes hand in hand with the first one is that I had a really high level of belief. And that doesn't necessarily mean high confidence or arrogance. I, I wouldn't say I was a super confident kid, but I don't ever remember thinking that I wasn't going to be able to do music full time. It was just a matter of when it was going to happen. And that's the thought I always had in my head. And I feel like this is a superpower because I can't think of many times coming up where I truly felt discouraged. And I know that sounds crazy because nowadays that's what ends most music careers before they ever start. But feeling discouraged generally comes from setting unrealistic expectations for ourselves, lack of patience, and just not enjoying the journey, which in my opinion, what's the point anyway, if you're not going to enjoy it. And I think I was just fortunate enough to come up in a more traditional music industry where we weren't all comparing ourselves to each other on social media. And I'm gonna make another video about that in a few weeks, so make sure to subscribe to this channel if you feel like this kind of content will help your music career. And if you're a music producer that has either A, some attention online, or B, some industry credentials, and you want to turn that into more income and opportunities, then please reach out to me and let's have a conversation. And if you're just starting your career as a music producer, then always check out the resource that I leave below in the description or reach out if you need some guidance. My inbox is always open. Don't forget to click here and watch the next video and I'll break down how my production team was earning thousands of dollars per week with bank statements to prove it. Peace out.